Hello everyone! In today's video, we're diving into a brand new topic, one that a lot of you guys have been curious about. So I keep hearing the same question, can you actually build a mobile app with Trey? The answer is yes, absolutely. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do it. We'll use Trey Solo to spin up a mobile app from scratch, and we'll show you how it works with frameworks like Lynx, so that you can build instantly. Let's get started. To build our first mobile app, I'm going to use this framework called Lynx, which some of you guys might already seen it in our previous videos. So it is a framework that allows web developers to build mobile apps easily, and it's widely used for apps like TikTok. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give first give Solo the full context of Lynx and let it read all the documentations and all the blocks inside it. So let's just create a, a context called Lynx and then paste the URL here. So now Solo starts by reading uh, all the documentations of Lynx. The first task that I'm going to give to Solo is to follow the instructions on Lynx and set up our server. So for here, since we're still indexing the context, I will use the web search to reference the Lynx official documentations and then ask Solo Coder to start a project. Let's kick it off with a plan first. So now you can see that Solo is actually doing some context retrieving on how to quick start on links. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. Let's just execute it right now. And I will turn on the flow mode so that uh, I can see what it's actually doing. Now it's checking if the Node.js version is compatible and then creating the links project. Okay, now I need to turn off the flow mode a little bit and then proceed with creating the initial project. And we can turn the flow mode back on to follow the dependency installations. Now it's installing the Lynx dev tool. I can see that it actually download, automatically downloading all these like required packages for me. All right, looks like it just finished setting up the initial project and the dev servers. So in the terminal, we can actually see that I give back a QR code where we can scan with links and also a URL where we can paste it in the simulator. So my second step is to let Solo to help me spin up the iOS simulator. So I'm going to ask Solo to help me set up the Link Explorer. So now that you can see that it actually spin up the simulator for us, and I've already have Xcode installed, so it just downloaded the Link bundle package for me. Uh, if we take a look at the simulator, it has the links uh, installed already, so I can just open it um, and use this URL that Solo mentioned for live reloadings. And uh, let's try it out. So here we just set up an initial development flow for a mobile app without me reading into a lot of documentations or touching the terminals. The next thing that I'm going to do with you guys is to verify the hot reloading works. So I'm going to touch code for a bit for this one. So let's go to the editors. Hot reloading should work if we change anything to this app file. So let's just quickly add one line under the hello links starter app. I'll just follow what Q suggested and then add a version of this mobile app to it and let's save it. So here we can see the version that we added immediately and we just verified that the live reloadings is actually working and we can start working on some features in our mobile app. Now let's work on some features. I'm gonna start a new task. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna new add a new page with a two column gallery of different cameras. So now we already have all the links context indexed, so we can reference the doc and say that make sure you read the doc for API references. Okay, let's kick it off. So now you can see that it starts by uh, looking into the links documentations to understand uh, what we need to build. Now let's take a look at the plan. It's gonna create a new page called gallery and let's kick it off. Looks like it just created a to-do. I'm just gonna let Solo Coder to take over the full implementation here. 
Now it just completed implementing the gallery page and let's take a look. So right now you can see that on the home page we have a new button to open the game camera gallery. We can see that it just created this camera gallery for us. And you can scroll these two columns. The page itself is in the very early stage, but you can see how Solo Coder just help us build out a feature in mobile app. Now, if I want to make this app better, uh, I can also add some UI effects with Solo Coder. Here, I'm going to add the light mode to both the home page and the gallery page. Let's see how Solo Coder does. We can see that Solo Coder is now adding a light dark mode toggle first, and then touching on the CSS to add new color theme. So one thing I really love is that it auto detects linked arrow in its own output and fix them even before I notice. All right, so Solo Coder just completed its work and we can see this new button added to our homepage and let's try it out. Cool, we just switched to a light mode. And thanks to Solo Coder, we just enabled this light and dark mode switch on our mobile app. And that's a wrap for today's video. Uh, we just show you that how you can use Solo to spin up a mobile app using links and how you can use Solo Coder to start building features for your mobile application. And hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comments below and see you in the next one.